Welcome back to Children's Church. I'm so glad to have you here with me. Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. This is the start of what we know as Holy Week. This is the beginning of Jesus' journey from entering Jerusalem to the cross to rising again next Sunday. So we're going to be reading about something called the Triumphal Entry. It is a fulfillment of prophecy, and you'll hear that in the story. They reference the different things prophesied hundreds of years before Jesus' time that he fulfills. And you'll also hear, well, it's just an interesting story. I like to call it a joyful entry because the people whom Jesus met were so overjoyed to see him. And it's a really sharp contrast to the Romans who would see him the following Friday and call for his death. So, let's start. We are in the book of Luke, we're in chapter 19, and we're starting with verse 28. When he had said these things, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Beth Bethpage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples and said, Go into the village ahead of you. As you enter it, you will find a young donkey there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Say this. The Lord needs it. So those who were sent left and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the young donkey, its owner said to him, Why are you untying the donkey? The Lord needs it, they said. And they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their robes on the donkey, helped Jesus onto it. As he was going along, they were spreading their robes on the road. Now he came near the path, down the Mount of Olives, and the whole crowd of disciples began to praise God joyfully and with a loud voice for all the miracles they seen. They had seen. The king who comes in the name of the Lord is the blessed one, peace in heaven, and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd told him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if they were to keep silent, the stones would cry out. As he approached, he saw the city, and he wept over it, saying, If you knew this day, what would bring peace? But it's now hidden from your eyes. For the days will come when you on you when your enemies will build an embankment against you, surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you and your children and pin you to the ground, and they will not leave one stone on the ground to recognize another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. So, Jesus rode into the city on a donkey. This is something the prophet Isaiah had told them would happen when the Messiah came. Now, the Pharisees did not believe Jesus was the Messiah. Flatly, they did not believe he was who he said he was. So they told the disciples to stop shouting what they were shouting. But Jesus knew things they did not. He knew he wasn't a Messiah in the way they were hoping for, who would cast out Rome, but a Messiah who came to save our hearts. And the people understood who Jesus was. They called out, Hosanna! Hosanna! God, save us. They threw palms on the ground in front of him and laid their robes down to make the road softer for the donkey to walk on so that things would be smoother for Jesus. It was a sign of respect and love. And it's such a sharp contrast to the people who wanted him dead for political reasons who killed him on Friday. The people who greeted him here called Hosanna. But on Friday, they'll call crucify him. They aren't the same people. But these are the things we know, that this is the beginning of Jesus' journey to the cross and the beginning of our journey to salvation. I don't think I'll be posting a lesson on Friday. We will be having a Good Friday service, though, where we read and blow out candles and celebrate, not celebrate, commemorate Jesus' death. And then we'll be back next Sunday to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. And I hope to see you all then.